entertaining interview, so I hope you'll see the same out today. But you look very confident, very fired up for this fight. Opportunity for you to become world champion on Saturday night. Yeah, um, I'm ready to go. Uh, my confidence comes from my preparation for this as I say, I'm very, very confident, very relaxed. We're here in London, it's time to go. Um, there's not much more to say other than I'm really coming for Saturday. I know that obviously the talk is done, etc., and you're calm and relaxed, but you are very passionate as well. I've seen a couple of interviews as well. Fired up for Saturday, and is that part of the plan? I mean, talk about staying calm. Do you even want to stay calm? I mean, the atmosphere is going to be so intense on Saturday night, I'm looking to, to let that feel you were in. A fantastic performance. It's now out. I know what the kind of performance is coming on Saturday night. This is the most relaxed and calm I've ever been in the week. I don't feel any pressure. I'm here in the opponent's back garden. You know, I got a bit of belt off him. You know, everybody's here to see him. I've got fans coming, but I've fought one of the business already, so it's not going to be good. You know, I'm just here for the job. Um, I hope Lee is having a fantastic dream again. I hope he's the best team we have ever been. Because I believe he will be. Um, and I'll make it all the when I get Expecting to go through a tough fight on Saturday night to rip that belt off Lee Wood and Reagan and prepare to do whatever it takes. Back in a fantastic uh, performance by myself. Lee, ready to go. Can't quite believe uh, we're here back in Nottingham. And your story is an incredible one. I remember watching you in Hull many, many years ago when you were waiting around down the Supermats and waiting to get stopped by Gavin McDonald in a, in a massive shock upset at the time, a lot of people felt that your career might be over, the way you built yourself back up through all kinds of adversity to get yourself in this position, it is an incredible story and I guess in your mind you have to make the absolute most of this opportunity on Saturday. Absolutely, um, I'm buzzing to be here, it's been a long hard road to get here, like you said back in 2014, terrible night, it was a terrible night, but uh, you know, I knew the reasons behind it and I went away and corrected them. Um, same with both defeats, I've suffered that, I've suffered defeats and just thought I was keep chipping away and everything from home. No matter the way, I've changed my team, I've improved as a fighter, stay disciplined, live the life. And that's why I'm going to be able to do that. I'm not even happy with my camp for this fight, I'm happy with my team, everything's on point. And I mix it, I've got the best version of it, he's got the best version of me, there's no issues after the fight, best man away. When you talk about that sort of rise back and that confidence, how important is confidence being played a part in that? Obviously the Reese Long win was great, but the confidence going into the Kanzu fight, I remember sitting there at the press conference thinking, I don't think you win this fight. You all believe you, you, you would win this fight. You've won the fight. I'm guessing now we're going to see the confidence go to a whole other level in this fight. You really believe that you're the better man. You believe you're the favourite in this fight. You believe you defend this title on Saturday in your home city. For sure. Well, we rocked the fight camp and people were basically saying, good luck, thanks for coming, thanks for turning off. And we was like, kind of taken back, I didn't want to say to him. And I, I did these interviews and said, oh, I'm going to win this fight. And obviously they hear that from every fight. Um, but confidence is never an issue with him, you know. I've been confident when most kids think I've nothing to smile about, nothing to look forward to. I've been confident in the gym about fights coming for two years, two injuries. Um, and I was confident in my ability, confident I'd get there. Mm -hmm. And finally, I know as a kid you grew up going to big fight nights in the city watching Froch and of course remember Froch Buto as well, but yourself sold out arena on Saturday night. You were not in the play for which there are many. Travelling Irish fans as well, just the most incredible atmosphere we're about to witness. This is really what, what dreams are made of for you as a, as a boyhood fighter from Nottingham. This is the absolute ultimate. For your Saturday night. <laughs> Fairy tale shit. <yeah. laughs> no, honestly, um, um, all the all the arena fights are caught was out in the stands and the cheese teeth screaming. Um, sometimes I get a bad from friends that I used to take call on the lads and go back to the You know, um, for real, I'm not headlining in the same arena. And this is the peak, this is the top, this is where I stop. I'm going to go further than this. And my dream is sitting around fighting, and I'm carrying from it for so long. You said this, but like, after this fight, it's happening. I'll hold you to that, the eyes on Saturday night first, and to get the job done and know what we're doing. Finally, to the, the guys up here, I know that we've asked this question before, but Jamie, your predictions for Saturday night, I know that my uncommon victory is, is a general prediction that you will give, but any other insights into how your brother wins this fight, you believe he can win this fight, my stoppage? I think it's going to be a masterclass. Well, the truth 
really great in classic preparation is that we can have a master class on Saturday when they come. Ben, I know it's easy to say a lead would win, but talk about his power in the spot. You felt that power on the pads. You expect him to be a dangerous man in there? Yeah, of course. There's obviously not too much room for error. Uh, but I believe that a lead would win by points decision or by knockout. Might look by any means necessary. You have the ability, people talk about it, might be just. It will come on it, that's all it is. Nothing else, it will come on it. And then, are you going to give me a stoppage prediction or just a leeward prediction? I am on an unfeeling, great, explosive, dangerous. <clears throat> Good, well, we can't wait. There's going to be some atmosphere on Saturday night. It's under 10,000 sold out, not seen